The CW Iowa Live in Stivers Ford Lincoln is downright proud to salute some great organizations in town. And here's one uh, that I think is the first time we're introducing them to you. Uh, it is called the Care for Children Foundation. And want to introduce the players here that are on the set with us. We have Sydney Milani. We also have Cole Corey and Michael D. Decker joining us in studio. Well, Cole, let's start with you. Tell us about this wonderful foundation. So in uh, 2013, my brother decided that he wanted to do something to give back to the community, you know, work more, uh, just really get after something. And we threw around a couple ideas of what to do, what, you know, how to do it, and we landed on a children's foundation to donate, you know, common needs of hospitals local across the state of Iowa. So we set out, we worked through Southeast Polk uh, to get our nonprofit title, so things go a little easier there. and. From there, we've just grown ever since. So you guys started this organization? Yep, my brother and I did. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, what's your brother's name? Uh, my brother's James Corey. James, well done, James, as we continue <laughs> to learn more about this great organization. As I say, that's wonder that, wonderful that you're giving back, but what kind of items are you talking about? Because many people would think, well, the hospital has it covered. They're taking care of the kids. What, what are you providing for them? So a lot of the stuff we provide is real simple. It's art supplies, educational items, books, uh, different things like that, uh, some toys, blankets, anything to make their stay just a little bit nicer. I was going to say, why was this so important for you and, and what difference has this made for kids that you've uh, encountered? So some of the kids we've been, we haven't, we can't go back individually to meet the patients, but okay. to see, you know, the impact that all this stuff has on the hospital employees, a lot of these places they expect, you know, a couple grocery sacks full of stuff, but we bring in just a huge amount and it's just great to see all the smiles and everything. Now, is this people donating items, uh, money, or how does this all work? work? Uh, actually, all of our money is raised through fundraising. Uh, each year we have a big golf outing, and I'm going to let Michael take over talk about the golf outing a little bit more. Yes, yeah, yeah, so there's a big right, event yep. coming up. And it's coming up this weekend, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. So this Saturday will be our fourth annual golf tournament on the 13th. So the golf tournament will start at 9 o'clock, and it is a shotgun start. So we are still looking for foursomes, and they can sign up on our website. Um, but all of the money from the foursomes and from our raffle prizes that we give out to our golfers, all the money raised from that goes directly back to the hospital. Okay, that looks like Toad, is that right? Yep, at okay. Toad Valley Golf okay. Course. And right. we have the website up on the screen. Uh, it's very easy, careforchildrenfoundation.org.org. Make sure you check that out. So how much does it cost? Uh, uh, how do we sign up? So it is $75 per person okay. and $300 for a foursome. So we are still looking for foursomes for our outing. Um, and for more information, you can look at our website. Um, and then there's also information on sponsorship opportunities and how to sign up for your foursome. Okay, if we come out and we want to get a foursome out there, will you get to feed me if I go out there and As play say, golf? What yep. does that all include? Yeah. Yes, we will have a meal from the great caterers of Iowa. They always donate our food every year, so we're very appreciative of that. Is there anything else going on that day? I imagine there's some other goodies and maybe raffle prizes. Yeah, we do have a like raffle, that. so our golfers can purchase raffle tickets, and then those tickets can get them some big prizes that we have. We have around $2,500 in prizes, and about 90% of that is all donated from other members of the community. No, Wonderful. You've, you've been doing this for several years. Do you have any idea yep. what your goal is uh, money-wise uh, late, uh, later on at the end of the week? Yeah, I think last year our goal was around $7,500, so we would like to do a little bit better this year, so probably around 8000 this year. Okay. Wonderful. All right. Well, we want to hear from Sydney as well, and let's talk about the great work that this foundation does for our local hospitals. Like, what hospitals are we affecting around our area? Um, we started off with more bigger hospitals since we're from Des Moines, like Blank and uh, Mercy, and but then we started branching off to more smaller hospitals around, like Pella and. What else? So reaching out to more rural areas and making sure that they're being affected by your generosity as well. Mm -hmm. Now, do you work with the same hospitals all the time once you get a relationship going with them, or how do you decide which hospitals you go to? Um, no, we actually work with different hospitals each year. Um, I don't, <laughs> I don't really know how. Oh, uh, we've worked with Mercy uh, twice, and we've worked with Blank Children's Hospital just a few times. But after that, we started branching out to more and more small ones and usually the stuff that we bring it lasts quite a long time in the smaller ones so we branch out to more each year. If there's somebody out there listening and saying hey I know a place that could really use uh, some love from this wonderful foundation can they reach out to you guys? Yeah you just go onto our website and our email our phone number everything is there you can reach out to us and yeah. 
W what's the most requested item that you hear that kids would love to receive if they happen to unfortunately have time in a hospital? Uh, a lot, a big request is iPads, but those are you know communal for if they're getting an infusion or just an IV treatment, something like that. Um, but also it's just small stuff. We do a lot of blankets. Mm -hmm. We set aside you know a day each year to make a. Uh, last year it was 75 blankets in one day. Wow. So blankets are huge. Yes. Now you mentioned you do a lot of fundraising throughout the entire year to get the, the funds for this. Do you purchase everything yourself or can people donate the actual items to you at the same time? People can donate items but we usually go out to uh, uh, different stores and just buy the bulk of everything that we donate. Mm -hmm. Now let's say people aren't able to make it out to this golf tournament this weekend. We hope everybody does. It's going to be a gorgeous weekend and this is a very worthwhile cause. But let's say you can't make it out, um, something came up, but you still want to give to this wonderful uh, organization. How can you do that? On our website, uh, careforchildrenfoundation.org, our address is on there and it, there's even a little box that says donate here and it, you can mail in or donate online. It's as simple go. as that. It's going to look like a gorgeous weekend for the golf tournament yeah, coming up on Saturday. It's going to be amazing, folks. All right, so we need all the details again, Michael. Give them to us so we can get as many people there as possible. So the golf outing will be this Saturday, May 13th, with a tee off at 9 a.m. at Toad Valley Golf Course. Um, and then for more information on our golf outing, you can look at our website. It has more information on foursomes and how you can sign up to be a part of our golf outing. Okay, can, Perfect. can people get up there uh, that morning too and get, get uh, registered to, to golf that morning at yep. the same time? Yeah, and then if you are interested in joining our golf tournament uh, for this weekend, if you could just notify us, if you can call us, uh, just so we know um, before we get the mail-in um, so you know how many sheet, bodies so. are going to be there, yep. right? Okay. That way we get a full count. Because there's food involved, that's why. Mm -hmm. sure. Well, I tell you what, this is an organization that was started by students that are making a huge impact in our community and the surrounding communities, folks. But it takes money to keep it going, so mm -hmm. we hope, if nothing else, you can simply check out their website and donate today. Well, great job. You should yeah. all be proud of yourself. Thank you so much for being guys. here. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Right. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. And let us know how much money you raise, okay? We'll yep. see if we can get to that $8,000 goal. We okay? will. Wonderful. It is 847 right now, and hopefully you can stick around because we'll be right back and it'll be time for totally serious news next on CW Iowa Live.